I'm Andrew Page, Senior Product Manager for our Broadcast Engineering Solutions here at NVIDIA at NAB 2012. And NVIDIA, company we make graphics cards, GPUs, to accelerate the entire creative workflow from editing to finishing to on-air graphics. So what we have here is Adobe's Premier Pro CS6 that was announced here at NAB. CS6 is building on the use of the GPU that Adobe launched in uh, created Premiere Pro CS5 and 5.5, integrating it in further into the application. They realized the benefits that gave customers in accelerating the workflow, cleaning up the process, and generally making it faster to get your work done and be more creative while you're doing it. So if we look at what the application has here, uh, everything, all the effects, all the various playback is all GPU accelerated from the multi new multicam interface to the standard editing workflow. So as you work through, again, accelerating the workflow, the GPU is keeping everything clean, smooth, running, so you can be more creative and get your work done faster. So next what we have is Adobe's After Effects in CS6. So building off the success of the GPU that Adobe's customers saw in those performance enhancements in Premiere Pro, Adobe in, in After Effects in CS6 integrated GPU acceleration as well. And they integrated it in a text and shape extrusion layer uh, to build logos like you see on the screen here. This is actually a fully ray traced scene. So as you look, we have a crystal logo. The light is reflecting and refracting through that logo um, and all being GPU accelerated as it goes. This is a fundamental change to After Effects. Traditionally, an artist to do this would have to go to an external animation package, create the logo, render it out, bring it back into After Effects, play with it, make sure it composited correctly, uh, and if something was wrong, they'd have to go back again and come back. So this is fundamentally changing the workflow, and the ray tracing in here, using that GPU, is accelerating that very quickly, and ray tracing, takes a lot of GPU power, so to deliver that to customers, we've developed an NVIDIA Maximus workstation. This is a high power workstation delivering lots of GPU horsepower uh, to deliver the performance that these customers need. On our website, we have case studies from various customers using this, showing how they took render times from old projects that took many, many, almost days to render and brought it down to a matter of hours by that fundamental change of the GPU accelerating the workflow and the number of steps being saved so you don't have to go out to other applications and come back into After Effects. And so another one of the workflows we're accelerating is the animation workflow. In this case, a technology demonstration showing how a GPU can benefit an animator working with particles. So this is Autodesk Maya with a technology demonstration of particle, fluid dynamic simulation via the GPU. So as you look at the NVIDIA logo coming down here, all of the interactions of the liquid NVIDIA logo as it interacts with those spheres is being computed in real time. And while it's happening, I can still continue and interact with the graphics so that as an artist, I can sculpt and tune how I want that, those particles to happen. If my job is to make this scene look right, I need to do that. Without the GPU, this is again a multi-step process. You end up sending something out, come back an hour later, realize, nope, that's not what I want. Do it again, do it again. The GPU is taking that, bringing it into a real-time interactive process. Again, shortening the workflow, get your work done better, get your work done faster, which gives you more creative choice, faster timelines, uh, or just more creativity uh, as you go through that. So again, the GPU at work there and the NVIDIA Maximus configuration delivering the GPU horsepower to do the computation and give me the interactivity with the graphics while that computation is going on. And finally, we have one of the tools that we use, was used on the movie Act of Valor by the Bandito Brothers. This is Cinefilm Dark Energy Professional, tools used for degraining and uh, cleaning up the, the images that were shot out of that movie. Act of Valor had a mix of all sorts of different camera types, but it was predominantly digital SLR, which have an, uh, introduced noise into the image uh, and also need to be up for cinema production. So Dark Energy Pro is a tool that's used, professional tool that's used uh, to take all that, bring it back up, and make it cinema quality. It does it very quickly by the use of the GPUs. So while they're interacting and setting what the shot is, the GPUs are keeping everything running in real time as all the denoising is occurring uh, and the tuning and tweaking of the image to get it back to what the uh, artist wants it to be at the end. All done again in real time because of the GPU at the heart of that. Once you have your scene set and locked and what you're looking at, the NVIDIA Maximus technology allows you to apply that render to the entire clip in real time while you move on to the next clip and keep working. So again, rendering 
and working at the same time, NVIDIA Maximus Technologies, bringing the workflow, consolidating two steps into one, doing serial processes into parallel, and driving and helping tool filmmakers like the Bandito Brothers deliver active valor for the low budget they had and deliver a wonderful story at the end of the day. And to find out more about everything we've seen here, head to nvidia.com slash maximus or nvidia.com slash cs6.